Okay guys, uh, for dessert we're going to make kind of a twist on Bananas Foster. Um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, who's in And, um, and we're going to make a Bananas Foster bread pudding. Um, the twist is that we're going to use our Paradiso peach tea kind of as a base. So um, this is a fruit infusion or a tisane. Um Tea refers to the tea leaf. Um, everything else is really a herbal, and this would be an herbal as well. Um, so this is bits of peach and rose petal, um, and it's really just a nice flavor, and it's a dark color as well. So we're going to blend this with some, um, some bananas and some candied walnuts and some agave, and we're going to pour it over some bread pudding that I've made. And I'd love to share my bread pudding recipe with you. Bread pudding is really very simple to make. It's a custard. Anytime you cook eggs and dairy together, you've made a custard. So quiche would be a custard, or if you love those things where you take o zucchini and breadcrumbs and you pour um, an egg, um, an egg, mar uh, egg dairy mix over that and bake that to a casserole. That's a custard. So custards don't have to be sweet. They can be savory as well. Um, so again, I'm making an extra strength pot of tea by using twice as much leaf with half as much water, and it's really going to make a nice dark color and a really big, big bright smell. And that's going to add that sweetness again without having to add excess sugar, because uh, this is one, another tea that's naturally sweet. So with the orange cream school rooibos, we use that, that extra sweetness in the rooibos um, in a savory application, where it really makes sense with sweet and sour kind of stir-fry flavors. And here, we're going to use it for dessert. So, um, they kind of work both ways. I also love to use this peach tea uh, with my barbecue sauce, if you kind of want some sweetness in the back. Um, some canned peaches, some of the peach paradiso, um, along with other traditional uh, barbecue flavors. Uh, it's really very nice. So, again, I'm going to preheat my pan. That started, and I have some bread pudding here through the magic television. Uh, I like to cut my uh, bread pudding so it is kind of in triangles. You can do a lot with this shape. Um, you can cut the stack into cute little shapes that way, uh, and it really gives a nice visual as well. So, preheat my pan. Very good. And I have some bananas here. Um, use fresh bananas. Um, you, there's some really great frozen banana products on the market. Um, these bananas, I took fresh, cut them, tossed them with a little lemon juice, kind of prevent them from turning brown, spilled them on a sheet, put them in the freezer so they would hold their shape for the cooking demonstration here. Uh, if you take a banana, cut it, cook it right away, it's really going to have a nice flavor. But that's kind of one of those ways you can cheat where I'm having a dinner party and I know when I want to do bananas foster for my friends, but I, I, I don't have the time to cut bananas and pull the roast out of the oven. That's one of those tricks you can kind of do. And you can see they really hold their color and their shape quite nicely, but we want them to break down a little bit so they start making their own sauce. So I'm going to get my bananas in the pot. And I don't have any oil in here. Um, it's just kind of the natural liquid from the, uh, the natural water from the bananas is going to help start that sauce. And put the tea in there. Oh, it's going to be a dark color. So, you know, usually bananas foster is a lighter color. This is going to be a dark color. And that's okay. It's really going to taste great. And the sauce is kind of starting to thicken itself. The bananas and the tea are kind of mixing together. I need some sweetness. Come on in. You're welcome to uh, join us. This is complimentary. and. Uh, we're getting kind of near the end here, but if you'd like to taste some Bananas Foster uh, made with uh, peach tea, you're welcome to sit down. Okay, so make sure that's good and hot. Of course, I like to taste. And same thing I'm going to taste for, for salt, acid, and balance. Uh, salt counts with sweet things as well sometimes. Oh, it just needs a little something. What could it be? A pinch of salt, even in, in sweet items, really helps pull things together. That's really good. So, 
I'm just going to throw a pinch of salt in there. An acid, it's got decent acid. I'm going to add just a touch of lemon juice. I've used lemon juice a lot tonight because it's really a kind of a natural flavor. It's, it it um, blends well with a lot of different things. If I'm looking for a more intense flavor, I would use maybe white vinegar or even balsamic vinegar if the color uh, isn't a concern. Um, okay, let's see here. I think we're a lot closer. That's really good. And I have some candy walnuts here as well. This is going to match really quite nicely. So, let me show you an easy way to present this. I like to just take my sauce and spoon it right over. Like so. And a couple of candy walnuts for garnish. <laughs> Garnishing food is really easy, so that's the reason we should do it. There we go. I hope you all enjoy that.